Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We are your hosts. I'm Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone. It's going to be another amazing episode. Why, Dana? Why is it going to be an amazing episode? Well, I mean, I think that every week we have amazing episodes, if you (laughs) ask me. But you know what? I might be a little biased. Uh, Me too. I mean, too, you know, but and, 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 you know, we get these crazy cool things every single week. I see we have a couple of doozies tonight. So, uh, I, uh, I, matter of fact, it was really funny because I was I was uh, what do you call it? For those of you who are, who are not in the know, what do you call it? We uh, rescheduled our, our studio time, which we usually do um, on uh, uh, Thursdays. And we're now doing Monday night just for this week. And uh, <laughs> and I was in the middle of, of Grindhouse Radio and like it popped up and I'm sitting there looking at, you know, um, you know, the email from you. Mm-hmm. And the first the first thing I start reading <laughs> out loud, I read it out loud and I'm like, thank God we're not on air right this second, because That's it would have been. <laughs> so Kim looks at me, she goes, what? <laughs> I, go, I go, hey, you want to come on Dirty Little Secrets? <laughs> so, yeah. That's the kind of shit we get here. See you. We need to have Kim come on, though. One of that's what I said. I said she said to me, she goes, I would love to do it. She goes, she goes, see, here's the thing. I've had Kim with me for seven years. You know what I mean? So I remember from way back when she was as vanilla as they come. And, Uh you know, and and so when when we would have, you know, conversations or anything would go a little awry and things would be joking around, she'd be like, ah, you know, and she wouldn't (laughs) like it. So but now, like she, you know, she knows me very well now and. Uh, I broke her, you know, in a positive way. <laughs> like she's a goddamn force. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but now she, no, but now she can appreciate the stuff and the laughs, and you know, she enjoys it. So she's like, she's like, I definitely would love to come on. So we'll have to, we'll have to work that out. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll have and to then, schedule that up. And you know what? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put them all together, and I'm gonna give her the dirtiest, dirtiest <laughs> secrets. So Please. she has to say the nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have to get you. You'll come on to uh, GHR. I want to get you to come on Grindhouse if you're in town. That's when I yes, want you to come on. Me too. That would be me a lot too. of fun because I want you to come into the studio, you know? Yeah. But um, what do you call it? So, all right. So, th- since I intro, that means that you're on first dish duty. So, that, that um, means that I get to say the nasty one. <laughs> that I'm not the what? one that makes the you rules. It's You're actually the one not that makes that the rules. <laughs> you make the rules. It's your world. I just live in it. I'm just saying this happens to be a pretty hilarious one. So what you go, you do it. Go ahead. Go okay. I, t- I take back the nasty part, though. It's really not okay. that nasty. Not it just that depends nasty. on what you're into. Yeah. Uh, this one says, hello from Texas. Hello. How do you do, Texas? Howdy. Uh- <laughs> the stars at night are big, a big and, and bright. bright. Deep in, Deep the, in heart the heart of Texas. See, really we're good. on a lag, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you can tell we're not in the same studio because there's a lag. So, like, I just did like six claps just to go along with it. And yeah, anyway, but we, we, and, we or maybe yeah. I just don't know that song that well. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to we're going to go with the fact that there was a delay. OK. Um. All right. So hello from Texas. Hello, hello Texas. Texas. OK, go ahead. Say uh, that next line. Go ahead. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Say the next slide, Dave. Loud and proud. I got my butthole licked for the first time, and I really, really, really liked it. Three reallys. <laughs> three reallys. It's, it's not just one. It's not two. It's three reallys. That is. That means they really, really, really liked it. It God, is God. not a lie. Um, <laughs> I think it's funny when you two don't know if it's a man or a woman. So I wanted to see if you could guess which one I am. Son of a bitch. First of all, OK, from the way this was written, I would have first said that it was a man. OK, uh-huh. first, I would say it was a man. However, the fact that the I is lowercase and the way certain things are and the fact that, you know, they're curious, you know, to see how we're going to react to this. 
I'm going to switch it up and say that it's a woman. That's my guess. Really? I and, think it's a woman. And what's really funny is for almost identical reasons, I originally thought it was a woman. And because of the lowercase I and the curiousness, I was like, eh, could be a man. Well, there we go. I don't know. Let's see what's going to happen here. Listen, I guess you're going to have to write in and tell us who you are and what you do. Well, not who you are, but what you are, you know, man or a woman. I, so we're so you're going man on this. I'm going woman. OK, so I'm going to give you my other reason on why I think ah. it's probably a man. OK, because one hello from Texas. What? Which oh, means, come on, Dana. Well, hold on. Let me explain. OK, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you are, and of course I'm generalizing here, people, so just bear with me. You don't have to attack me if you disagree. <laughs> I'm generalizing. Just generalizing. Just generalizing. If you are a dude in Texas, right? you're probably not going around telling people that you like to get your butthole licked because they're going to stereotype mm. you and say like, oh, that must mean that you are a homosexual. I will give you the I'm going to give you the I'm going with you on that. Okay, okay. That was <laughs> that was a very well thought out get a little speech there. I'm going to I got to I I'm listen, I'm going to flip my decision <laughs> and I'm going to go with yes. you on that because <laughs> That was very well played. And and I think you might have something there. I'm yes. OK. All right. 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 Yeah. 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 I, I don't think a woman would be so self self-conscious about getting her butthole licked. No, 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 no. Most of them are um, a lot. I of don't them know. Are. I'm like, you go for it. Slot yeah, it up. I don't care. That's right. Enjoy. Go ahead. Have at it. You know what I mean? But so, yeah, but here it is. But not many. Here's now. See, here's other things that not many women are licking guys' buttholes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, but so, that's what would make it more appealing as a dirty little secret. Really, really, really is really, really, really sounding like a woman, right? Like, come on, a guy's not gonna be. I really, really, really liked it. Oh, you I, know mean, what I mean, unless he really, really, really liked it. <laughs> 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 I'm going to switch my answer. I'm going to go with a man with you. So, look, if you're a dude, we need to know if you're a dude. If you're not, then what do you call it? I'm just going to take it back and I'm going to say, see, I was right. <laughs> but <laughs> you were, trust my gut. Damn it. <laughs> either, either either way, I got it right. Whatever it is, I, it's it is. I'm but but I am going to you. That was a very, very well thought out. Um, uh, you know, comment there. I'm I'm yeah. I'm with you on it. So I'm going to I'm going to go with the flow. So, yeah. So this is a guy. Um, we think. And okay. um, we'll see what happens. Write in. Write in. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Tell us. Or what if it's not a man or a woman? What if it's a, 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 a they? An alien? Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a they. They, them. Is that what, it, what the they, them? You know, because it's not a he, she. You know, they could be a they, them. I don't know. Again, I don't ah, know. Ah, trick mm. question. They're like, we, I don't mm. identify as either. I, that's. <laughs> Could be a trick question, but Texas, I mean, this is true, but it might not even it might not even be a real butthole. The butthole could technically <gasps> be the neck. And there, you know, it's a butthole that I, it's a neck that identifies as a butthole. A butthole could be, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Is yeah. This, all right. I'm and way off. Maybe maybe he thinks his ear hole is his butthole because somebody called him a butthead once when he was six years old. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I he identifies it as a butthole. That's yep. what I'm talking. See? Mm -hmm. And then so I look, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, I, well, I'm just gonna go with you for this one. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut that at this one. At, at a minute. Okay. <laughs> we're really off the rails at this point. We're off the rails. All right, on to the next one. All right, here it goes. Now, this is um um not me speaking again. This is a writer inner. So the next writer in her says, my boyfriend has a ton of pictures of his own penis on his phone. I don't get enough dick pics from him to not be suspicious that these aren't going to other people who needs that many pictures of their own dick. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Well, I'm going to tell you, um, you know, that, uh, you know, I, I am a man and I have zero dick pics on my phone. Um, you know, like, you know, of course, not of other people and especially not me. So what do you call? I don't know what the hell the deal is there. Even I wonder, when I would, yeah. even when I would, when I was asked to send, 
mm-hmm. it would be the photo and then that would be it and I would delete it. And then you know you what I mean? Delete it. Yeah. I, even whenever my husband sends me one and occasionally he'll send me one, I get it. I look at it and then I delete it from my phone because I have little kids that will go on my phone and they'll be like, <laughs> what daddy say, you know? And what I'm like, that? Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. <laughs> yes. What is that thing? Oh, uh, why thing? is daddy sending you pictures of his privates, mommy? His um, peeps. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lots of peeps. Yes. Okay. So, but I couldn't, I, I find it weird if I were to go onto my husband's phone and he had a bunch of dick pics yeah, on there. We'd have to have a conversation there. That's that's strange. It feels a little narcissistic even, maybe. Like, it's it's penisistic. It's called don't do it. Why the hell do you? There's no need. There's no need. First of all, yeah. guys, ladies don't want the dick pics. That's mm-hmm. first and foremost. We've rarely, said this a bazillion rarely. times. Yeah. Every so often, if they'll please, then you go, okay, sure. You know what I mean? Other than that, don't send them. You just look like a freaking jackass. Don't yeah. do it. It's stupid. What do you call it? Penises are not attractive. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, a, a breast or, you know, even a, a vagina. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. attractive. You know what I mean? But, you know, you look at a, a penis. You go, what the hell is this freaking mushroom s- staring at me? Like nobody wants to see that. Right. No. And you know That's... what? It's funny because we cover this over and over and over again. Like we could talk about how girls don't want dick pics till we're blue in the damn face, but they keep coming. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, to you, too. Oh, uh, just in general, you've been, women... you've been getting them nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. You've and, been getting right, them nonstop. Well, thankfully, they all go into my message request folder at this point because I don't get messages unless I am actual friends with the person. Uh huh. So Good. that filters out a lot of that stuff because it doesn't have to assault my eyeballs because if I am not friends with that person, it goes into a different folder that I don't even open. Yeah. Freaking people, man. Disgusting. Anyway, so um, guys cheating. And that's about that. So what do you call it? Yeah. Yeah. He's sending he's probably sending those to other people. or his little comb, see, comb, saw. And those are not all his people. Um, And he's enjoying that for himself. And, uh, you know, I spy a little one. I (laughs) spy a big one. I I spy a chunky one. Recognize it, though. Right. Uh, Well, listen, picture of your dick in line with a bunch of other dicks do you think you could pick your dick out i have a handsome dick so of course i can you know mine smiles and glows like the freaking sunshine i like i listen i'm not it might not be big but it's a beautiful one you know what i'm saying like pick my dick out uh, by my dick i mean my husband (laughs) do you think you could you know what's really funny is that they had a game show on uh it must have been european game show or something and um what do you call they had that was one of the things that it was all the guys lined up and the women had to see if they could pick out their partner's uh, wieners. Really? And most of them, most of them couldn't do it. Most of them couldn't do it. Interesting. Crazy, I feel right? Like I would like second guess myself a lot. But then again, I'm like, I've looked at it a lot. I'm, I think I could probably do it. OK. I don't know. OK. It depends on the curvature and what you know what I mean? Like, yeah, who knows? You know, or if it's if it's if it's, you know, if it's in, if it's out, if it's, you know, hard, if it's yeah, soft, you know what I'm the saying? Other one. Yep. You know what I mean? If it's soft, it's like, uh, well, I don't know if it's hard. Maybe maybe like the, you know, it's like I know how that feels in me. <laughs> mm, you know what like I mean? I could but, pick it out soft, too. You think so? Yeah. yeah. It has like you, a you, distinct look to it. Oh, oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> I, 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 I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, the knowledge I personally don't want to know, but you know, hey. I mean, I don't uh, gotta go into detail. I'm just saying, like, I, I think I, I think I would know. You know what? If somebody ever put me up, it's it's like a Pepsi versus Coke. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> would I really be able to tell? I like to think that I could. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Well. Yeah, again, he's cheating. So um, on to the next, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry to deliver bad news. Sorry about uh, it. Yeah, but there's a reason you're uncomfortable. Um, mm-hmm. All right. So what are you up to? What are you saying here? This one says, found out that my cousin's dad is not his real dad one night because my mom got drunk and spilled the beans. What? I never told him because he loves him so much and his dad treats him like his own. So I don't see the point. Wow. Wow. Wowzers. Okay. Um, yeah. Listen, I guess it's not your business to really say anything. So 
Um, I can I, I commend you on not saying anything. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it does the dad know. That's the question. Oh, does the dad know. That's interesting. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's I mean, possible. like, well, because my mom got drunk and spilled the beans, but that doesn't mean that, you know, that the dad yeah. knows. You know what I'm saying? What beans she spilled? Was it your aunt cheated on her husband and had a yeah. baby and said it was his? That could be. Or is it she was pregnant and then this guy showed up in her life and took on the role of daddy? That could be too. But does yeah. he know either which way? You know what I'm saying? Either which way. What's the dealio? What yeah. Is We'd like to know. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, any well, all that has to happen now. I don't know why people are so stupid. All that has to happen now is just going on. It's freaking ancestry dot com thing. Yeah. And, you know, you're giving your DNA and, and you're done. So if you done dipped your dilly into other some you know, willy into someone else's dilly, you know, guess what? Guess what? You're you're, you're going to uh, all of a sudden. It's oh, all look, coming I, out now. I have a match with this girl. It says that it could be my sister. Uh-huh. I don't understand. This one says it could be my brother. I don't. Where did that happen? You see what I'm saying? Like, and it's all it's all connected. now. So you go do you. But, you know, you stick your willy in someone else's dilly and something's going to happen. And then, you know, Billy's going to be your brother. You know what I'm saying? And then you don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Did you see that documentary on Netflix about the doctor that was using his own sperm to inseminate yeah. women? And he had like over a hundred wow. children. Unbelievable. Um, That guy should get his ass handed to him. Like I, I would have killed him. I would have killed guy- that guy. Didn't think in a million years that he would get caught. He had no idea that 30, 40 years down the line, technology would be so advanced that we would be able to tell who was somebody's father or mother or family or cousin or whatever. Mm -hmm. He just didn't bet on it. And he was a goddamn doctor and he still didn't put his money on things advancing that far ahead. Didn't even cross his mind. And now he has hundreds of very upset children and uh, baby mamas. I would imagine. I mean, let's yeah. Let's think about that. You know, by the way, let's take a quick break for a second. Um, and just to, to talk before you forget about it. Um, how about that? That article I sent you about the uh, the those potato chips. Potato chips. Re- please remind me because, you know, the vagina, last the vagina was crazy. The vagina flavor. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> the oh face on God. you right now. <laughs> if oh, people God. aren't watching the video right now, you've just lost. Yeah. What do you call it? <laughs> the, the, the face that you just made was priceless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you call it? Uh, vagina flavored potato chips. Why? Why would anybody do such a thing? I, I mean, look, I love vagina as much as the next guy. But why would you be making vagina flavored potato chips? What are they going to taste like? Because somebody wanted to be like, oh, yeah, well, I'm such a man. And I'll even eat vagina potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Somewhere in the article, the guy who one of the guys who created it was like, well, we're trying to make it so that, you know, the guys who, um, you know, are, are older and never really had an experience with a woman can actually experience, you know, what a woman tastes like. I'm like, what, what? the hell are you t- like? You need to be electrocuted or something like I, what? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, hell no. And yeah. it's like. If you have artificial vagina taste, like, right. come on, we all know that artificial strawberry doesn't always taste like strawberry, but you're going to tell me that your artificial vagina taste is like it's going to match up <laughs> with you know, what a woman tastes like, and they all taste different. I'm That's sure. what I was just going to say, and they all taste different. And and now here on on uh, on another level, 
Then you look at the comments and you get every ignorant jackass on the planet go, oh, it smells like fish. It's got to be a fishy yeah. one. Oh, it smells like tuna. Like, like shut up. Dude. Like, dude, like, Come shut up with up, a first new all, joke. You're such what an are you, asshole. A fucking eighth grader. People are so freaking stupid. It's like, first of all, and that's why you don't get any vagina. And that's yeah. why you don't know what it smells like because you can't get any. And that's why you need to eat the damn potato chips, you fucking moron. Yeah, <laughs> you the should f- probably buy a bag. Exactly. You know, it's like, come on, man. So like, uh, you know, I I am just I think it's the most ridiculous thing. Um, I think it's funny. And I think that there's what do you call it? It's great for a quick, you know, pop in the media. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But after that, yeah. it's like, like, what, what? Come on, man. Like, what are you really trying to get at here? Like, who's doing that other than buying it as a novelty? Right. Yeah. You're not eating it to sit and snack, you right. know? Yeah, you're not hanging out watching the Netflix documentary on the dude that fathered a gazillion children hanging out with your bag of vagina chips. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to pass on that. But I figure we should definitely at least mention it because, yeah, it was uh, a thing. Um, that being said, what do you call it? We have one more. Are you ready for this? I am ready. OK, again, wait, this is me. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. So. <laughs> This is again a writer inner. Um as opposed this, to a writer outer. The, the, the writer inner outer, um, outer inner uh says, I smell my own underwear every time I take them off to change or shower. I'm paranoid about being fresh, so I check every day. Do other people do this? Um, um you know, usually it's a it's a finger sniff check, um, not sniffing <laughs> your underwear. Like, I don't see how you're sitting and like why would you take the underwear and shove them in your face and be like, <laughs> snort it up? <laughs> you know, like, why? Like, there's no yeah. reason for that. Now, at the end of the day, you know, if you like a quick finger check, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes a girl will just slip a little bit in there, make sure, you know, hey, is everything all fresh and, and dainty? OK, good. Otherwise, OK, maybe I need a little bit of something. Refresh it up a little bit. You know, but a guy like, you know, first of all, when you're a guy, you know what's going to stink. First of all, balls smell. Get some stuff. Use it down there so this way they don't st- stink. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. There's, good, there's good stuff that I use. And as a big guy and I sweat, you know what I mean? I know at the end of the day, my balls are going to smell fresh as a daisy because I sat and I used the certain things that I use. You know what I yeah. mean? Um, everything else is going to be swampy. But that's going to smell good. You know what I mean? <laughs> But, Go hey, to look, a I'm finger be... check when you got swamp ass. But that's the thing. Like, so, you know, like a, a finger check, you know, that's normal. Smelling your underwears. I don't know about all that. Yeah. What do you think? Do you agree um, with me? I I don't do a daily underwear check. No. So if, if you're asking if it's normal, I can't talk for other people, but I can tell you from my own experience that, no, I just take my underwear off and they go in the hamper and that's that. Thank you. Um. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, no, that's not that's mine. Go on the floor. If I you totally missed that. <laughs> would you say I said mine go on the floor? Oh, <laughs> of course saying. they do. I'm with you, Danielle. I'm on your side. <laughs> um, but if I like go out for a really long walk or something like that, you can tell when you're not the freshest. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't need to stick my face into my underwear to if I if I'm feeling like I'm not super fresh i just hop in the shower and you know clean it out good to go do you do you have that not so fresh feeling <laughs> do you need to you know check your underwear every time you take them off yes. i don't know no man you just don't do that you just don't do it no, like every I mean, so listen you do that's fine you're not hurting anybody go ahead yeah. sniff away if that's how you do your freshness check i'm just saying that you asked if it is a normal thing um, and I can only speak from my experience, which is, no, I don't do that. What if your underwear smells perfectly fine, but your balls smell like death? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you you know, I, do a real check, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do a real check. You know what I mean? I do something. <laughs> no. But this way, if you have the feel and need that you need to check yourself, then you're probably a little stanky. You probably need to take a shower. You know what I'm saying? That's Watch it. Out. That's it. Wash that. You know, give it a little rinse, give and, a little, and maybe a little spritz of, you know, something spritz. vanilla. 
I'm gonna crack up. That was funny. A little spritz of something vanilla. Stick a candle in there. Light a match. Stick a candle. <laughs> light a fucking match. You'd be all right. Just make sure you know. it's a candle and not a firework. <laughs> uh, puff, puff, pass, babe. What do you call it? Uh, oh my lord. The, you know, and then you think of like the Gwyneth Paltrow, like when we were talking about the um the oh. the, the chips, but Gwyneth Paltrow when she did the vagina, my my vagina, you know the the scented uh candle, you know, candle like what. How? What does it smell like? You know what I mean? I am obviously I really, obviously is fresh that for sale because <laughs> I feel like we should buy one and, and see what it smells like. It still is for sale. If I I can't I cannot have that in my my in anywhere near me, because if I actually smelled that, I think I'd probably be in so much trouble. You know what I mean? I think I might buy one and then light it and smell it on air. <laughs> you really want to do you really want to know what Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina smells like? Why and if not? it smells and if it smells like fresh daisies and everything, then I want to meet Gwyneth Paltrow in person and I want to be the judge because uh-huh. ain't, ain't no vagina smelling like daisies and freaking meadows and, and, and shit like that. <laughs> it either smells like nothing or it's a little bit tangy or something's going on, whatever. Like like and then there are girls that, you know, maybe their hygiene's not so good or whatever, but that's a different animal. I'm not making fun of that or saying it, but they are not all the same and they do not smell bad. And even if they are a little bit ripe, they still delicious. So I don't know why anybody complains. A vagina is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. I wonder whose job it was to, like, make that candle, like to smell to, like, scent compare, like, yeah, a little off on this one. No, we need a little bit more of this. Stick your crotch in my face. Now, just, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, who's doing that? Who's doing that? Yeah, I don't know. And they're like, God damn it. You ate tangerines yesterday, didn't you? We told you you have to have the same diet every day. (laughs) (laughs) You had tangerines. (laughs) You're crazy. You had tangerines yesterday. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, that's about all the time we have this week for the Dirty Little Secrets Club, people. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so much for tuning in every single week. Uh, rate, review, subscribe, five stars only. Uh, you know how you do it. What do you call it? Uh, make sure you catch Dana. She's got her uh, awesome show with uh, Sam. I can't say it because, you know, I'm jealous that you guys are doing a show <laughs> without me. But um, go ahead. Pop your show. It's it's where's our participation trophy that you can also find on all the podcast platforms and YouTube. There you go. And then, of course, the Grindhouse Radio, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Thursday night, wherever you get your favorite podcasts and you catch old Brim. Have a good time there. And uh, listen again, we love you. We appreciate you. Uh, Lots of really cool things coming up for me, also for Dana. So make sure you follow us on our social media. Uh, what do you call it? What's your social media, Miss Miss Dana? You can find me across all platforms at Trophy Wife Dana, and Dana is spelled D A Y N A. Absolutely. And you can catch me on Instagram at the real brimstone um, and everywhere else. You can just get me on the website at the uh, oh, I'm sorry, www dot <laughs> the real brimstone.com. That's where it first day with a new mouth. Anyway, thanks again, guys. We love you. We appreciate you, Dana. The last and only rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Yes, guys. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We love you guys. Have a good week. We'll see you next one. Mwah. Think we want something from you, you got another thing coming.